Hey, 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 I'm Stevie T, and today I have a cold. So if I sound a bit stuffy, it's because I'm sick. So anyways, today, with the help of audio blocks, I'm gonna show you guys how to be a YouTuber. Because a very common question I'm asked is, what the hell, man? But another common question I'm asked pertains to how to do YouTube videos or how to be a YouTuber. So how do you become a YouTuber? You upload videos. Okay, bye, thanks for joining me. No, well, I'm, you know, well, I mean, it's a little more complicated than that, but really, yes, just upload videos. That would definitely be the first step. But first, you gotta figure out what kind of YouTuber you want to be. The first kind of YouTuber there is, the vloggers, or vloggers. Now, vloggers probably have the easiest job of all. All you really have to do is carry a camera around with you in your everyday life. That's it, and then you upload it, done. <laughs> The benefit to vlogging is, you can do super long videos, you need little to no preparation, and little to no post-production work. Jealous! Now what do I think of vloggers? I actually really hate them! But maybe I'm just jealous of them because my life isn't entertaining enough to do vlogging. Like if I did vlog, this is what every episode would look like. Nine or four. Six, four, zero, five, or nine. Nine! Nine! Four. There's me! 1,784 as he writes. Now another type of YouTuber you could be? A gamer. Which again is a brilliant choice because essentially all you have to do is record yourself playing video games. So essentially, your job could be playing video games. <gasps> Why didn't I think of that? And again, a huge benefit to being a YouTube gamer is you could do long videos with little to no post-production or pre-planning. So this way you could realistically upload several videos a day. Jealous! Now the next type of YouTuber is the musician. And boy, do you have your work cut out for you. Oh, let me tell Now this type of YouTuber generally has to do a little bit more work per video, even for much shorter videos. But in my opinion, it's the best type of YouTuber to be able to express yourself. So it's well worth it. So for a YouTube musician, these are the steps to making a video. Come up with an idea for a song. Record instruments for the song. Program all necessary instruments. Choose appropriate answer effects. Edit for timing issues. Write lyrics and vocal parts. Record vocal parts. Edit vocal parts. Mix instruments and vocals together. Produce song with yourself or a producer. Listen for any last minute changes. Master the song. Leave studio. Set up song for online distribution. Sit down and relax. Congratulations on a good job. Oh, but wait! You haven't even started the video yet. Brainstorm video ideas. Write down said ideas. Make a list of any needed props. Create a guideline for parts to record. Gather all necessary props such as lighting or screens. Record all necessary parts. Record all parts at a different angle. Record parts once more for filler. Clean up. Transfer videos from your camera to your computer. Bring all clips into video editing software. Edit the video. Edit the video some more. Edit the video. Add necessary brightness or contrast to each clip. Overlay any graphics or backgrounds. Join video with previously finished song. Render the video. Review the video for any last minute changes and upload. Done. So definitely a lot of work, but realistically you could even just upload a video of you playing guitar or singing and it wouldn't take a lot of work, so I mean, you know. And now depending on what type of YouTube videos you're doing, there might come a time when you may need sound effects to enhance your videos. This is when a site like Audioblocks is going to be of huge benefit for you. I use their sound effects a lot. Mm -hmm. I just did there. That wasn't my ass, that was Audioblocks. Now let's say you wanted to do a video called Me Farting. I don't know why you would ever want to do that. Well, maybe because that would be awesome. But that video is going to be pretty stupid if you don't have a fart sound effect in there. So yeah, pretty lame. So let's go to Audio Blocks and see if they have any farts. They basically have the largest stock audio library, so... And they have over 100,000 tracks, loops, music, and sound effects, so they gotta have farts. Ah, there we have it. We'll just download that. Thank you very much. Let's try this again. See? Much better. So I'm going to show you a clip I made, first with no sound effects, and then again with sound effects, just to show the difference. Oh. Ah! 
So there you have it. Obviously sound effects make a huge difference in video. So if you think audio blocks would be a benefit to you, you can start a seven day free trial following this link, audioblocks.com slash future. The link is in the description and start your seven day trial for free. Actually this month, audio blocks is launching a new collection featuring hundreds of new fantasy and sci-fi inspired tracks. And these are all included with your subscription. So it's pretty cool, wacky stuff. Now that's what it sounds like when an alien takes a leak. So to sum it all up, what is the big secret to becoming a YouTuber? It's this. There is none. Really there isn't. Just upload original videos, be yourself, and connect with an audience. Those are the keys to success. You not so much, but you, you can do it if you put your mind to it and be persistent. That, that even goes for you as well. So as always, thanks for joining me, and here is how to end a YouTube video. Have a few different videos that people can click on, and also a button to subscribe. Ah, uh, what do you think? Ah? Uh. And other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and by the way, Jared Dines, if it's a shred war you want, you're on. See? Sound effects.